Hello everybody and welcome back to Dana's Coloring Obsession. I'm here with another video. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great weekend. Um, I decided to do a video on the first 10 books I want to complete in my collection. Since I'm a, a newfound adult colorist as of March of this year, um, I haven't done one of these. I haven't picked out my, you know, the books that I want to complete first. So let's let's get into it, shall we? Okay, these are in no particular order, um, aside from like smallest to biggest, really. <laughs> so, um, oh, that's a little bit too bright. Hold on a second. Well, that didn't help much. Okay, um, well, it's, uh, I, <laughs> I cannot pronounce this, you guys, um, but it's translated to English um, for balls by Diane DeFoy. And I love this book. It's so cute. Um, and what I've done to all 10 books is I've used some washi tape and a sticky note. And I put today's date and how many pages I got currently done and how many there are total. So I'll be listing that here as I go. So um, I have two pages finished in this one. And it's just so cute. It goes through the seasons. I shared this in the fall, the books to color in fall, because there's so many fun pages in here um, that you can use for the autumn season. And that's further in this way. That's the one that I showed you before. That's the first page I've ever completed in here, but I did that in May. Um, and the next one that's got the bookmark is for August's, or sorry, September's finished pages. It's on Instagram if you want to see it, but I'm not going to share it here. <laughs> but there's winter, see the snow with the cute animals and presents. Um, and then you jump into um, the fall, the autumn stuff. I'm going to end up showing you, but see, it's just so cute. I love this book. Anyways, this is one of the ones that I want to complete first out of my whole collection. And honestly, I don't even know how many books I have now. I'll have to count those. That might be another thing for a part of a video. <laughs> okay, so that's the first one. And the second one I just ended up purchasing. It's Mine Rise Search Asian by uh, Rita Berman. And see the smaller books, I just put it on the back so that I could see what I mean, I know what book it is, but anyway, um, there's 88 pages. I don't have any colored because I just got the book, but it is so lovely. I'm so excited um, for Rita's new one, Africa, coming out at the end of this month. Um, but this is just lovely. <laughs> it's so cute and so amazing. I'm really excited to, uh, to color these, so it's going to be real fun. So yeah, that's the second one. And then I have another one by Diane DeFoy. Um, Sirens of the World or Mermaids of the World. Um, this is one of, actually I think it is her newest book that just came out a couple months ago. Um, I don't have anything colored in here. I meant to for a, a hashtag last month, I think. And I didn't get to it, but this one, um, mermaids around the world is kind of the title says it all they're from different parts of the world um, anywhere from Spain to Greece to parts of Asia and there's even um, Eskimos and um, Indians and all kinds of different places around the world <laughs> so it's a really fun book and I am excited. I like to color mermaids anyways. Um, so yeah, this will be a fun one to complete. It's got 45 pages and I've colored zero. I think I said that, I'm not sure. Okay, and then the next is Seasons by Hannah Carlson. Um, I've colored one page in here and there's 84 to complete 
Oh, I also want to tell you that the, when the, there's a double page spread, I'm counting that as one because anytime there's going to be a double page spread, I'll nine times out of 10, I'm going to be coloring both pages and counting it as one. So I did that. Um, I can show you this one. It's older. I was real happy with the strawberries. I wasn't super happy with my um, choice in the butterflies colors. I think it clashes a little bit. <laughs> and that was the first time me trying gems as well. I was pretty happy with how all that turned out. But that's the only one in here I have done. It's um, seasons again, so it's a full of autumn pictures and winter pictures and summer and spring. Um, and it's a fun book. So I want to complete it. So I have one done in that one already. And there's 84 pictures counting one as double page spreads. And cutesy, <laughs> The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. I know you can't see it because I covered it up with my, my stickum. Um, but I've colored two in here. Um, and it's just, I love Groku and <laughs> these are just adorable. So that's the first one I've done in here. And I used extreme glitter and some glossy accents on his eye. And the next one that I did was just a straight alcohol marker color. That one. He was so cute. So cute. But I think the whole thing is adorable and it's not going to take me long to do. So this one might be the first one I do, <laughs> but it's so cute. So I love this book. So it's one of the ones I wanted to complete first, two out of 31 pages. And I am counting the ones, not this, not this book, but like literally I'm counting the, you know, the nameplate pages and anything like this I'm counting because I want the whole book to be finished. Next one is RJ Hampson's Moonlight Mischief. I've got one out of 55 pages done in here, and it's this one. I still have to um, spray fixative on these, so I've got pages in there, but it's Pirates. Um, I'm trying, there we go. I did gray clouds with acrylic paint and then the rest is just colored pencils. I think it was Prismas. So I did that one. And this is the first one where he did a part of the book is in with black and then the other part is not. <laughs> but this one again is one of my favorites of his. I mean, I love all of his books but um or at least the ones i have so far his other ones are on my wish list but um i'm gonna do every one of them even these <laughs> and that one so excited to do this and then one of my first ones from kirby uh, Kirby Rosanna's Mythic World. I've got one out of 63. Again, I'm counting double page spreads as one. Um, and that one is the demon page. Um, that was a lot of fun. I really liked doing this guy. He's got some crazy eyebrows, but, um, so yeah, I got him done, but I just, I really, this is one of my favorite books from Kirby. Um, and I'm excited. I want this page is going to be soon. I think maybe after fall. I don't know. I'm pretty gung ho on autumn and Halloween right now. So well, this would be Halloween ish. I could make this Halloween, couldn't I? Hmm. Well, maybe <laughs> next month. I don't know. That's a pretty big project. Um, but yeah, I love this book. I've loved it. I think it was one of the first books I've actually purchased. Um, so yeah, that's one of them. So I've got one out of 63. So I don't have a lot of pages. You'll find because I just started in March and I think I might have sent this before. Um, 
a lot of my books, I have one colored out of the whole thing or none at all, just because I've acquired so many books in a short time. <laughs> and um, I uh, am trying to color in all of them. So I have one page done in each book, you know, and I actually still have some that obviously not colored in. And that's another video I could do probably. But anyways, continuing on. Sorry, tangent. All right, so the second Kirby book I want to finish um, out of the top 10 first books finished in my collection is Fragile World. I just love this book. I know it's one of the more realistic books, like not very mythical or anything. It's just got regular animals in it, and it's a little bit different. Some people don't like it, but I love this book. I've got one colored out of 65. <laughs> And that one, um, I love every, okay. I love everything about it. I did show this before, except for the background. This was early in my coloring when I didn't really know how to blend. So I put glitter on it. Anytime I mess up, you'll find that though, there's a big fat layer of glitter over the top of it <laughs> to make it look better. <laughs> but that's just it. Um, but I, yeah, I Mod Podge glitter ex dreamed it because obviously there's not really any blending going on there. I chose some fun colors, but it was just it didn't work out. That's okay though. I was really happy with everything else. Um, this is just acrylic white paint and I tried to do fur, which didn't turn out too bad on the otter. I did, however, color the uh, crab red. Apparently he got cooked before he uh, waved to us. Anyways. <laughs> So that's the only one in this one I have done, but they're awesome pictures in here. These I'm excited about for winter, but just amazing animals, beautiful scenes. This is amazing. Love it. Excited to start coloring more in all of these books, but that's one of them. We're down to the last two of the 10 first books to complete. So I have one done in this. I just finished uh, one page in this book last month. Um, and there is 75 to finish, including all of her, the like outside, the cover and everything. I'm counting all of these. So um, this is the one I finished last month. And I really had fun with that. Distressed ink with a cloud stencil is what I used there. And then a big circle stencil. Um, and some acrylic paint. But I loved that. And I just love um, Johanna Basford's, I'm sorry, it's Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder. Um, and I love this book. So I'm excited to jump in. I have a lot of ideas about a lot of these pages, so should be fun. She's very, she's got a lot of different stuff in here. So a lot of different choices like that. And my last one is Circle of Life by Melopamini Chatsupanigetu. Um, I have one done in here out of 90 <laughs> to do. Um, and I showed this at the beginning of my little adventure here on YouTube. But um, there he is. And I just, I love every page in this book. Um, I love Mela Pamini's work. Um, I have her other books as well that I need to work in, but this is the one I want to finish first. Love, love, love. That spider one, not so much, but we'll do it. <laughs> so, yeah. I do want to color in this one, possibly that acorn picture that I just flipped through for fall, autumn vibes. But yeah, so this is a good one. Oh no, oops. I need to spray all of these. I bought some fixative, but I'm not, I don't know. I've never used fixative before and I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to ruin my stuff. 
so I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. And the last one, well, that was the last one. I'm sorry. So that was my 10 books that I want to complete first in my whole entire collection. Um, I think that it was pretty well rounded. I tried to kind of grab not just one illustrator. Um, that's why I have Kirby, RJ, Diane DeFoy, Melo Pamini, Johanna, Hannah Carlson. So I have a lot in this 10 books and I'm pretty happy with it. So thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We hit 500. I'm so excited. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you in the next video.